today I am in Sault Ste. Marie and this right here is the very first hint of fall color. Let's talk about it. Right now I'm at Rotary Park on the east side of Sault Ste. Marie and I'm going to show off this area before setting our course west to show off some of my favorite spots to experience fall color. Behind me that's Voyager Island. If you are in this area and you haven't hiked that yet, you can only get there through paddle sports. So canoe, kayak, stand up paddleboard, paddle boat I guess. But if you've never done that, this is the perfect time of the year to go on that island and hike around that thing because the views that you get of the river, and if you're lucky enough to have a ship coming through, are just awesome. This paddle around Rotary Park is delightfully peaceful, with fall color popping up on Voyager Island and Sugar Island. We really enjoy this part of the Sioux by boat or by board, but land is just as delightful. It's fun to watch the ships cruise between Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan and Ontario because it's a border town. The river and road leads west to Portage Avenue and the Sioux Locks. Here's a fun tip. Watch the freighters at Rotary Park, cruise down, grab a quick snack, and it'll be almost perfect timing to get to the platform in time to watch the freighters lock through. When I'm there, I always enjoy trying to add fall color into my photography inside of the park itself. Now, the rest of my suggestion is part of a day trip that ultimately ends at Tequamadon Falls. And yes, it's fine to drive straight there, but let me show off a few stops that I enjoy doing along the way. Monaco Lake will forever hold a special place in my heart. And I've spent so many days on this lake. And in the fall, Mission Hill sits as a beautiful wall of leaves just bursting with color leading down into the lake. This is my favorite time of year. Sometimes Lake Superior wind is a bit brisk, but fortunately, because of how Mission Hill is formed, it's an awesome way to get outside and still be shielded from that wind. Don't forget to stop at Point Iroquois Lighthouse as you leave Monaco Lake and continue down the Whitefish Bay Scenic Byway, where the road leads to Big Pine Day Use Area. Obviously, pines are evergreen, so this stop isn't for fall color, but for the fall vibes and then finding huge stretches of beach to yourself and standing on Lake Superior's edge. When you're out looking at fall colors, sometimes it's really cool to be in an area with a lot of evergreen trees to contrast with the colors that are changing. I can never decide if I want to go to Whitefish Point first or to Quaminon. And here's my suggestion. If time is going to be an issue, head to Whitefish Point and attempt to get there before 5. That way there's a chance to experience the Shipwreck Museum and then spend some time outside. Andy, go stand in front of that rudder so I can show them how big it is. Whoa, there's a ship out here. Oh, at the waves, that's so cool. All right, let's head to Tequamanon Falls. If hiking is your thing, I have a suggestion that maybe someone doesn't realize is an option. There is a wonderful trail that leads from the lower falls to the upper falls, or the other way around, depending on where you start. It's a four mile hike with some elevation changes that run along the river. So be ready with some supplies like water and snacks. It's a super cool way to experience the Quamanon because it's a little bit more backpacking-esque and technically it's part of the North Country Trail, which I think is really cool. If the shuttle isn't running, the best bet would be to stage a car at one end of the hike or simply hike the four miles back, making it an eight mile hike that day. What I just described is a lot to do in one day. And the beauty of this trip is it's very easily customizable. If hiking is the priority, maybe quick stops along the way to add for more time at Tequamanon makes sense. But if getting out on the water is your favorite way to experience the day, maybe more time at Rotary Park and Monaco Lake might be the best bet. No matter what direction you end up heading, finding yourself back downtown in Sault Ste. Marie for dinner is how I like to end the day. And until next time, cheers.